Hey, it's a Dolphins victory. They get it done 31 to 17 over the Patriots. And look, it wasn't always pretty. I'll be the first to admit it. If you watch the game, you saw that the Dolphins certainly did not have their A game. But you know what? I said it on the broadcast. I'll say it again. I'd rather win ugly than lose cute any day of the week. And that's the sixth win of the season for the Miami Dolphins. Six and two. Best start in 20 years. Final today, 31 to 17. Again, the offense didn't play their best game. Certainly not. Tua Tungavaloa at times did not look great. Threw one bad interception, also had a bad fumble, but the three touchdown passes and he had the offense rolling at times. They made enough plays to get the dub, 31 to 17, to move to 6 and 2 on the season. 324 yards passing for three touchdowns with the one interception. Raheem Mostert had 13 carries for 46 yards and one touchdown. And Jalen Waddle, shout out to the Penguin. Number 17, Jalen Waddle, by far his best game of the season. Take a look there, 121 yards on seven receptions and the one touchdown. Waddle with me, it was a great game. Also Tyreek Hill, over 100 yards receiving and a touchdown as well. The Dolphins' defense was relatively stout in this game. You got to give them a lot of credit. Held Mac Jones to just 161 yards passing and had the one interception. Who had that one interception, you ask? Jalen Ramsey did. Number five, making his Dolphins debut and making an impact right away. It was nearly a pick six, but Jalen Ramsey baited Mac Jones into making a bad pass, picked it off, went down the sidelines, returned it about 50 yards before going out of bounds, and it was a huge play for the defense. So awesome to have Jalen Ramsey in the aqua and orange for the Miami Dolphins. So 31-17, my reaction to this game, I'll tell you in a minute. But first, I want to know yours. Let me know in the chat. You know how it works around here. One word reaction to the Dolphins' 31-17 win. My one word reaction, I'll tell you. It was a satisfying win. I've used that one before, but it was also a telling win. This win told me that the Dolphins can win without having their A game, and they can win in a multitude of ways. Was the offense perfect today? Absolutely not. Did they make elementary mistakes at times? Yes, the unforced fumble between Tua and Raheem Mostert can have that. The interception that Tua threw in the first half, not his best. But when it mattered, this Dolphins team buckled down. They had to have a long drive to put this game on ice, and they did exactly that. It was a 10-play, 75-yard drive that took up nearly eight minutes of clock, and that put this game on ice. And for Tua Tungavailoa and this Dolphins offense, you can keep them down for stretches, but you're not going to keep them down an entire game. And they proved that here today, getting to their sixth win. And again, maybe you call this one an ugly win, but I'd rather win ugly than lose cute. Patriots offense versus this Dolphins defense, who I thought played pretty well, just 4.3 yards per play. Shout out to the defense. There was a couple of guys making plays. I mentioned Jalen Ramsey. But with Javon Holland out at the safety position, you got to give a shout out to Brandon Jones. I thought he played really well in his absence. And up front, Bradley Chubb, third consecutive game with a sack. Zach Zeeler made some plays, as did Christian Wilkins. Andrew Van Ginkle was in on a sack as well. The guys were flying around. And this Dolphins defense under first-year defensive coordinator Vic Fangio is really starting to click. They hold the Patriots to just 17 points. Now, got to give a shout-out to our presenting sponsor of Dolphins today, and that is Prize Picks. Far and away, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. I do it all the time for Dolphins games, but everything. Prize Picks has you covered all kinds of inventory to get in on, and here's how it works. You simply... Pick more or less of a player's projected stat line. Now, it doesn't have to be Dolphins players. I do it all the time. You can do it with hoops as well. They've got tons of different picks to get in on, but it's simple. More or less versus a player's projected stat line. So here's how we did today. We cashed it, baby. We cashed that prize pick because check it out. I picked two to have more than 276 and a half passing yards. Check. I picked... Tyreek Hill to have more than 91 and a half yards receiving, check. And I picked Mac Jones to have less than 224 and a half yards passing, check. Ching, ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. That one's paying out $100 if I bet 20. 
So there you have it. Prize Picks is a super easy and exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. And if you have some fun and know what you're doing, like I do, if I do say so myself, you know, I, I'm not gloating here. It's just when you get a prize pick right, you know, you got to tell the people. And you know what we're doing for you? $100 deposit match at prizepicks.com slash CLNS, a $100 deposit match for being a Dolphins fan. All you got to do, create an account at prizepicks.com. Use the promo code CLNS when you do so. We've got a $100 deposit match for you. Compliments of our friend as at prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Proud sponsor of today's show. That's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. That link will be in the description of today's video. Now, my week eight takeaways. I got to start with the headline. This was Jalen Ramsey's debut for the Miami Dolphins. The first time seeing the big time offseason acquisition in action for the Dolphins, and he did not disappoint. Of course, the interception's going to stand out, but he also covered up a number of different Patriots wide receivers, was locked down. There was a play on third and goal where Jalen Ramsey ran with the intended receiver across the entire end zone and was blanketing the opposition, that's what you get with Jalen Ramsey and, of course, the interception and just a huge boost in morale and overall playmaking abilities for this Dolphins defense. So shout-out to number five. Shout-out to Jalen Ramsey making an impact with the interception in his first game back. Now, my second takeaway. When Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddell are both on lookout, in fact, not even lookout, forget about it, these Two guys make up, in my humble opinion, the most lethal wide receiver core in the National Football League. What Jalen Waddell and Tyree Kill can do is unmatched, and they were impressive today on a day, quite frankly, Tua needed the help. You got to give it up for Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddell. They are a nightmare for the opposing defensive coordinators. Take a look at Jalen Waddell, 121 yards receiving with the one touchdown. He was impressive. Tyreek Hill also over 100 yards with a touchdown as well. So shout out to those two guys. They were awesome for the Miami Dolphins. Now, check this out on Twitter from Ari, or X, whatever you want to call it. Dolphins wide receiver Tyreek Hill already over 1,000 yards on the season, and he is now the first player in the Super Bowl era to have 1,000-plus yards in the first eight games of the season. He is on a record-setting pace. Remember, the record set is 1,964 yards by Calvin Johnson. And Tyreek said his goal is to get to 2,000 yards. He's on pace to do so. Keep an eye out on Tyreek Hill, perhaps setting the NFL all-time single-season record for receiving yards. So 31-17 win over the Patriots. It wasn't always their best, but again, they got the victory in division at home. They are now 16-2, they being the Miami Dolphins, 16-2 in their last 18 games at Hard Rock Stadium. Need you to grade the Dolphins' performance here against the Patriots in Week 8 of the National Football League. I'll give them a C plus, B minus. Listen, they're going to play tougher teams than the New England Patriots, but again, at times, they needed to have they needed to be able to make plays, and they made those plays. My third takeaway, this defense played lights out. The 17 points are a credit to that, but also a number of times in which the offense, twice in fact, put the defense in a bad position, in a compromising position with the turnover, and this defense stood tall. In particular, beginning of the third quarter, this game could have gone a different way. The Dolphins got the ball to receive the second-half kick, and fumbled on the first play of scrimmage. What did the Dolphins' defense do? They forced what would have been a three and out, but because obviously the Patriots were in Dolphins' territory, they were able to kick a field goal. But in my opinion, holding the Patriots to three there helped keep this game in front and in control for the Dolphins and prevented the Patriots from making a serious run and grabbing momentum. So shout out to the Dolphins' defense. They held the Patriots and the entire Patriots offense to minimal production, and it's a credit to the way this defense is progressing under first-year defensive coordinator Vic Fangio. They also got pressure on Mac Jones. Three sacks 
One of them by Bradley Chubb. You got to give it up for him. He was special again here this afternoon at Hard Rock Stadium. Now, lastly, it's kind of summarizing everything into one final point, and that is in the NFL, you're not always going to have your A game. The other guys are on scholarship too. Well, you know what I mean. The other guys are NFL athletes too. They're going to make plays. And at times, you got to figure out how to win when you don't have your A game. And I thought this afternoon represented that mentality of the Dolphins finding a way to win even when it wasn't always pretty. So when you look back at the season and you're you know, going for a first round bye, you're going for a divisional championship, whatever it may be, you're not going to look back at week eight and say, well, we didn't have our best game. No, you're going to look back and see the W in the column, and that's all that matters. So it's a win for the Miami Dolphins. It's on to Germany. That's crazy to say. The Dolphins' next game in Germany against the Kansas City Chiefs and say no more, right? It's a great matchup. The Chiefs, one of the best teams in the AFC, as are the Dolphins. Good on good. I can't wait to get you ready for that game all week long. That's why you subscribe to the channel. That's why you subscribe to Dolphins today. Look at that live sub counter. We are already past 48.4, getting close to our next milestone of 50K. How about that? So join the largest Dolphins community on YouTube. We're more than just a YouTube community. We are a Dolphins family. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in to the show. And that is why you subscribe to Dolphins today, the number one Dolphins YouTube community out there. Dolphins get the win over the Patriots 31-17 to and are now 6-2 and on the season.